Hey everybody, this is Ed with Ed Finds Treasure. Got some uh, Indian Head pennies this past weekend. So I'm going to get those in my book. I got just a, a number of early ones I do not have. And I was surprised to find one. That's a 1879. In pretty good shape for $1. I do have an 1879, but it's worn out, so I'm going to replace that one. Come on. So, yeah, even the United States is worn out on this one on the left. There you go. 1879. You can see all the lettering. Yeah, you can't even see America on this other one. So that's definitely an upgrade. Alright, what's next? I have 1891, which I also have. Let's do a little comparison here. I just thought it was kind of cool. Well, well, the one I have is in pretty good shape. If it would get in focus. But for a dollar, I thought it would be time to buy some. <clears throat> this one I got, 1893, because of the metal cud on the left. It's kind of cool. Very unique. I've got a nice looking one in the book. This is one actually I did not have. Let's see. 1894. So it's a lower mintage at 16, just under 17 million. So it could be worth more than a dollar. Mm -hmm. Not the best shape, but I was just surprised to see it. And that is going to fill a spot. Oops. If I can get it in there. <clears throat> what is this? 1896. You can almost see the Liberty in the headrest up there. So that's in pretty nice shape. 1896. Always nice to do an upgrade or fill in. Yeah. I would say the one I have is a bit worn. Not bad, but it is worn. Okay. These are, I think these are a couple of 1909s. I wasn't sure what shape mine was in. Actually, I don't have a 1909. <laughs> so that should go right here between the 1908 uh, San Francisco, which is 1 million, and the 1909 San Francisco, 309,000. Now this one is 14 million, almost 14 and a half million circulation production. Couldn't decide which one. The one on the left is worn. The one on the right is got a little mess up. Might be able to clean that off. But not today. So that'll go in the book. And there we go. I did get some time ago an 1859, which has no shield on the back it's a thicker penny got that for a dollar years ago all right let's get it back in there along that same trip to a gold and silver guy i got uh, <clears throat> some 1860s 1864 1866 for a dollar 
really hard to see that one. 18, uh, 1867 and 1875. And we get into the 80s. I think I have all those up to 80, all the way up to the 1909S. These are just some estimates about what they're worth when I purchased them. So, hey, that's cool. Well, thanks for checking it out. Oh, I do want to show you red brown coin I have. Those are usually worth a little bit more because of the tone. Very cool. I like that one. All right, <clears throat> thanks again. I'm gonna move on to some buffalo nickels that I have been uh, soaking in vinegar, getting some dates. I'll do that in another video here. Thanks for watching.